Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. Tonight, all three campuses, 7 o'clock, we're back into prophecy as we study the politics of the end of the age. And we study Israel and we study the world political stage at the end of the age. It's going to be a great study. But right now, I want us to come back to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 4. Solomon makes a very interesting observation. He said, I saw that all labor, not a piece, all labor and all achievement spring from man's envy of his neighbor. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. You and I have to look very carefully at the motives of our heart. Are we doing things because God has put a dream in our heart? Are we doing things because this is the will of God for our lives? Are we doing things because this is the assignment God has given us? Or have we fallen into the trap of the world? The world only has one motivation for achievement. Now, I, I know this sounds really weird, but this is what the Bible's teaching us. The world, now I'm not talking about Christians, the world has only one source of motivation for achievement, envy. All labor and all achievement spring from man's envy of his neighbor. I want to challenge you today, please, don't do things out of envy. It, it, it's meaningless. It's chasing after the wind. There's, there's no sense of fulfillment in just keeping up with everybody else. Make sure that when you do things, you're doing this because this is the will of God. Jesus said, my food, the thing that, that rejuvenates me and gives me strength is to do the will of the Father and finish the task he has given me to do. Now, as, as you do God's will in your life, as you do what God has assigned you in your life, there's an incredible sense of fulfillment and an incredible sense of purpose. But if you're doing things just to keep up with everybody else, you know what? That's a pretty empty life. <laughs>